Hello Capricorn and welcome to your January 2019 uh, monthly reading. In this reading I am doing, uh, I'm using my runes, okay? These are lapis lazuli runes and um, if you are a Capricorn sun, moon, or rising, this uh, reading is for you. If you are on the cusp of a Capricorn Aquarius, uh, you may want to see um, my Aquarius video when I get it out to see if they both resonate with you. Um, like I say in all my videos, not all readings will resonate with you. Um, so if you like your own personal reading, my link is below in the description bar, okay? And you can book a reading with me. Um, so for you, I had cast my runes before picking them out and um, I have, I'm still doing the same categories. I'm just not using all tarot cards. So the first three categories is going to be the runes and your advice this month is going to be the tarot card. Okay, I'm switching it up again. Um, okay. And happy birthday, by the way, this is the time of Capricorn. So a lot of you, um, the, uh, towards the middle or end of January, it becomes Aquarius. But for most of you out there, all you Capricorns, happy birthday. So, and if your birthday just passed, happy birthday. So let's get on to your reading. Um, these readings will probably be a little bit shorter than normal. Um, with runes, it's a little bit different. So I'm going to begin. Okay, so for your work and business category, we have the rune here and it's actually reversed, okay? It's generally called the Tiwaz, okay? Um, but it is in the reverse position because when the arrow is down, it's reversed, okay? Now for work and business um, with this rune, I am seeing there may be a lot, a lot of um, kind of like a lack of motivation. Like I said, this rune is reversed. So when upright, this rune is all about a lot of motivation. In fact, extreme motivation, okay? Having a lot of strength to do something, um, overcoming odds, great victory. But because it's reversed, I feel that many of you are or may be looking for an open door. Kind of like um, looking for a way out. Now, when I say that, it's not that all of you hate your job, but some of you might be looking for something else to happen. You're just tired of doing everything yourself. You're just, when is the next opportunity coming? You know, um, like I said, possibly a way out of a problem or out of a challenge that you or someone else might have caused at your work or your place of work, or they did something with your business. Maybe you're just a, a very stressed this month, or you. we are in the beginning of the month, so maybe this hasn't happened yet. But if this happens, just know that you might, I wouldn't say hit rock bottom, but you sort of feel like you want to. It's not that you hate, like I said, it's not like you hate your job but you're waiting for an, another door to open. You're waiting for someone to, or that saying, Jesus, take the wheel, something, someone do it for you, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you will want to be enthusiastic though, and you want to be motivated. It's almost like um, getting put on a pedestal, or very highs, highs, or very high highs and very low lows. Kind of like a manic feeling this month when it comes to jobs or business. It's like, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to get this done. I'm ready to put out a new product. I'm ready to advertise my business. You're, it's like you're all motivated and everything and all of a sudden it, it may not happen the way you want it to. Okay, doesn't mean you'll lose your job or doesn't mean you'll get fired. It's more like something just kind of prevents it from going your way, okay? there may be something that gets in the way of this. You know, the fact that you want to be motivated. And I do pick up that some kind of idea, like a creative idea, suddenly passes. Or shall I say, you kind of miss the chance to present or speak up about it. So it's like something, like I said, gets blocked. Like I was just about to say that, or I was just about to, it, you kind of, it's like the scattered energy. You're, you're ready to rumble. You're, you're ready to do what you need to do. You don't mind any job projects so much. It's more like, it feels like almost like a mercury retrograde, but it's not mercury retrograde, but it feels that way for you, okay? And this could be related to um, maybe some of you who is trying to get a raise, for example, or an upper, uh, sorry, upper level position <laughs> of some kind, but you don't get it. Okay, 
Now, readings aren't always 100% right, but just remember that, okay? Another possibility with this rune is that a lot of you deal with um, some confusion or brain fog. Like I said, it might feel like things are moving backwards, but you yourself is ready to move forward. But there's like this brain fog with the job or business that you work at, okay? I feel like there could be a lot of procrastination going on. Maybe that's what it is. Um, maybe nothing stops you from doing something, but you just keep procrastinating. Uh, or maybe you, you analyze too much. Sometimes this rune has to do with overanalyzing. So you analyze so much about, well, why is this happening? Why is this happening? Instead of focusing on just don't worry about why it's happening. Just see what you can do to change it. Don't ask so many questions. Okay, that's that could also be what's going on. Kind of like, what was the word I'm looking for? Like mentally paralyzed, but confused about why, okay? Some of you might be dealing with a lot of competition maybe, especially if you manage or own your own business. And, and this might, might be something minor, but with runes, I take them pretty seriously. But again, all readings are based on the present energy. Um, I just feel like a lot of you should be careful about difficult communication this month also, okay? Um, I feel like other people might take what you say in the wrong way. So just be careful of how you say things. Sometimes, I said this before, it's not really what you say, but how you say it, okay? Just put it in a different wording, okay? Word it differently. Um, not, not that you don't mean, not that you mean to word it terribly, just think before you speak, okay? Um, what I also get from this rune is some of you might feel like just being lazy, which is okay, <laughs> because maybe you feel burned out, okay? Uh, maybe some of you are going through a too much work and no play kind of thing. Um, I feel like there might be a feeling of, of not a lot of life work balance, and that's pretty general for a lot of people this, these days when it comes to working anyway. Um, but I feel like some of you may also expect things to go a little bit too easily this month, but it doesn't. What I also mean is, for example, like those of you who just expect good things to suddenly drop in your lap, right? Or get favored. Not that you're always that way, but maybe you, you feel like you've been doing so good, like, oh, I know I'm getting this. I'm gonna manifest this. This is gonna happen. I, I, I'm, like, I'm like the teacher's pet here. I mean, not, not that you're trying to be, but you just know they think highly of you, right? And, and you, they, maybe they do, and you deserve it. But there might be a slight ego trip <laughs> or expecting more than you get. In other words, this doesn't mean you, you deserve that to happen. It just might not happen, and then you want to give up. But don't give up, okay? Just be patient because some of you might experience a little bit of dark before light this month when it comes to work, okay? It's not the end of the world. It's just what, what it's saying, so... Try not to worry too much about that. So I'm gonna to jump to your money and finance category. So let's go with this room. So I'm seeing that um, some of you might uh, feel like taking a financial risk this month of some sort, like buying something you normally wouldn't buy. Maybe you've been saving up for something for a long time and you're like, this is the month. Christmas is over, I had to do all this, I had to spend this on everybody else, now I wanna spend something for myself. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and you probably deserve that, but <laughs> um, unfortunately, this rune is about limitations and also delays, okay? Possible delays. This rune is often a kind of like a representation of kind of like all forces are out of your control. Um, it's also a representation of disruption. And sometimes this rune uh, represents quick or fast money gain, but can also be quick money loss. Okay, it's kind of like 50-50, you're playing Russian roulette. Don't, don't do that. Unless you have millions or, or hundreds of thousand dollars to mess around. If, you don't, if you're not wealthy or, or extremely rich where you could just mess, mess around with your money or play around with your money, don't do it, okay? Um, wait till next month. <laughs> It, it, it's just very important that you don't try and go through that uh, quote-unquote, what is that? Where's my mind today? 
that get rich quick scheme kind of thing, or not even that as a scheme, but just get rich quick. Um, avoid any kind of heavy, heavy gambling. I, I mean, any kind of gambling probably is best for you to avoid it entirely. Um, because you might regret it later on, even if it's a small amount, it's just something you might regret, okay? Uh, this is often a more negative stone than positive, so just be careful. Even though sometimes it can signify quick money gain, it has to be next to uh, both really good runes, okay? You already have one negative in the work and career, okay? Really try and go with the flow this month with finances, okay, Capricorn? Don't count your chickens before they are hatched, okay? If you're waiting on that bonus check or a check or somebody owes you money or retirement funds, et cetera, whatever it is, don't count your chickens until you have it, till they're hatched, okay? So, you know, sometimes the saying, I am in control of my own future doesn't resonate with everyone. This is one of those times where the energy may not go into your favor if you are not careful, okay? I'm not trying to paint a negative picture for you, okay? I'm not saying this is set in stone. This is just the energy of this month. Okay, just be careful. Everybody should be careful anyway when it comes to money, right? Just, especially this, but treat it like it's a Mercury retrograde. Although Mercury retrograde is not always bad. Sometimes it is good. It, it's really how you use it. But, but just treat it as if, uh, for those of you that are afraid of Mer Mercury retrograde, because it could kind of put you on edge a little bit, just treat it like as if it is a Mercury retrograde. That's the easy way of saying this, okay? Try not to sign any major contracts if you don't have to, okay? Just uh, avoid anything that's starting anything big or new when it comes to money, when it comes to finances, okay? And this is because um, circumstance may cause you grief if you're not careful. So just kind of tread lightly, okay, Capricorn? Okay, got it, got it. <laughs> we, we don't like messing around with money, right? Yes, <laughs> unfortunately, if we only didn't mean money, we just do like uh, barter and trade, right? Like the olden days. But unfortunately, we all need money to survive. So just take, take it as a very cautious month. Okay, so let's go to your relationships because this rune is very positive. Okay, this rune is actually uh, one of the runes that doesn't go by whether it's upright or reversed. It's always the same. So relationships look positive for you. So you can take a deep breath after hearing about some negativity caused by work and money, okay? <sighs> That's a warning though. None of the other stuff may not happen now that you know, okay? I did this reading early for you, so <laughs> I'm trying to get them done on time this month. <laughs> so this rune is generally a representation of giving or generosity. Actually, this is the rune that actually means gift or gifting, okay? It is a positive rune, like I said, but um, be careful of anyone taking advantage of you, not because the rune says that, but because sometimes giving and being overly generous can also affect you if you, um, sometimes others are only giving to expect something in return, okay? So don't give anything, and this is for you guys also, don't give only to expect something in return. Give because you truly want to. But for you, this is more of others giving to you. But if you know some, for example, like narcissistic people, they like to give only because they think you're going to owe me later on. Even if they're not narcissistic all the time, but we all know someone who is all the time. And just, or just people that try to take advantage of you. You think they're being, oh wow, this person actually likes me wow, this person is, is really changing. Wow, they're not mad at me anymore. Well, maybe they're trying to be manipulative. Again, this is not a negative rune. This is just, I'm just throwing my two cents in here for you, okay? I'm just gonna add that anyway, okay? Because that's just a general thing to keep aware of. I'm not trying to say that everybody's evil in the world. No, there are generally good people out there, a lot. But you still have to kind of ask yourself, well, what, why are they? If it's somebody that you would never, ever realize or expect them to be generous and out of the blue they're generous, kind of ask yourself, why are they being generous? What's going on here? Because there's always that red flag. <laughs> okay. But in general, this is a very positive rune. So this is more of a positive uh, category in your life for this month. And that's really good because... Um, 
I do feel this rune is about giving energy also. Um, not and ex Really, it's about exchanging positive energy, okay? Exchanging love and affection. So when it comes to personal relationships in your life, there seems to be a very kind of like important development that comes between you and someone else. And this is likely to be very positive, like I keep saying, especially when it comes to love and romance, okay? Although it could be a friend, a family member, um, so, or, you know, it doesn't have to be romantically related. So this is really good for all relationships. Um, but a lot of times this rune can also represent a marriage or commitment. So this is really, really good for you guys. If you are... If you are already committed, this rune shows that it will become strengthened, okay, most likely. Um, also, like I said, friendships can also benefit you this month. A lot of gener generosity between friends and family members. Uh, so a kind of like a lot of coming together, um, discovering one another, opening up to someone close to you. Um, maybe some of you will discover part of yourselves and you develop a certain relationship with yourself. Um, healing work, spiritual work, Reiki. Maybe you get a Reiki session and realize, or a past life regression and you realize a lot about yourself that you didn't know before. You would be amazed to find out when you start learning about yourself how everything changes. That's why you always hear the saying, have a good relationship with yourself. It's not just loving yourself, but having a good relationship with who you are, get to know yourself. Because in order to find out about anyone else, you know, it's just like that saying, in order to help someone else, you gotta help yourself. It's the same way when we start to find out about ourselves, okay? And I don't mean you have to get a past life regression or anything like that, just anything, just meditating, find out what makes you truly happy, other things, anything. Um, you know, just, or even if it means self-help, self, uh, take care of yourself, pamper yourself. It's okay to do that. It's not being selfish. It's, it's love because again, you have to nurture yourself before you can do anything. Okay. If someone is about to get hit by a car or a puppy's running across the street and you want to save the puppy, if you can't run because your legs are paralyzed, then you can't help that puppy. Now that's not your fault and it's very sad there's paralyzed people out there. I'm not making you feel guilty for those of you that are. But what I mean is if you can't do something for yourself, if you don't have the good health in you to do it, you can't help someone else, okay? Although somebody that can't walk or run to save the puppy in the street could yell out for someone else, of course. So it's not that you guys wouldn't try to help all you can. I don't mean that, don't take it the wrong way. <laughs> Maybe I should use a different example. That sounds really mean. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know what I mean though, right? Okay, so you get it, right? Okay, continue. <laughs> so just open up to someone close to you, okay? This is a very good rune for all of you, especially if you are single and looking to meet someone. So the, your relationships and love category, very positive. So you're very lucky to get that. So, I, and by the way, yes, I will do the regular tarot readings again. I just decided, hey, you know what? I'm gonna use my runes. So I actually don't use them enough as I should. So let's go to your advice card. And I did use a tarot card for this. So your advice card for the month is the star card. And as an advice card, the, the star is all about luck, hope, uh, seeing the future. Um, it's very, very positive card in terms of eventual outcomes. But it, remember this though, the star is not always about instant gratification though, okay? However, it still advises you to look for inspiration and new opportunities. So basically, it's kind of like advising you to use your inspiration to create new opportunities around you. So just try to look forward, not backwards, okay? Focus on what's possible. Do not focus on what's impossible. You know the same, don't say can't, say I can do. <laughs> Stay positive. No matter what goes on this month, um, whatever reading, because you're probably going to other readers as well, I'm not the only one you guys watch, I know I'm not stupid. There's many readers out there. So whichever readings you take, take them all, including mine, with a grain of salt, okay?